place. And only God knows because that's a secret closet that nobody in here knows what's going on. I don't care who you're married to, who you're not married to, who you're friends with, who you're family with. Nobody will ever know what's going on in your mind but God. That's the only secret place in this world where you can go where nobody knows what's going on but you. That's right. You're in the Word, Bishop. Am I right? Amen. I don't care where you go in this world, people can find you. And let me just tell you, because you got this thing, this iPad, or because you got that telephone, or whatever you got, as long as you got that cell phone, let me tell you, you can't hide. Preach. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There is a tower right now pinging your location that's right. where anybody that's connected to in the end with intelligence can look and find you right now Place of unlimitedness. Mm. 
up from that dream and you said, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, I had to. This dream would have blown. If you could have seen and, and you wake up with tears in your eyes yes. or you wake up thinking you were falling or you waking up thinking you were really running or whatever, that's because your body don't know it wasn't real. That's right. Wow. Matter of fact, your body reacts because to your body it is real. That's why you were crying in your sleep. Why, why are you crying in your sleep with a dream? Because your body can't tell the difference. That's why you need to go back within. Yes. Ooh, so your body can catch up mm -hmm. to your mind, mm -hmm. to the wisdom of God within. My body, my, my intellect, my, my everything needs to catch up. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've been limiting myself because I've been functioning according to my past knowledge. Uh -huh. What I've always known, what I've always done, what people say you can only do. Yes. We've limited ourselves. Wisdom said, take the limits. My dad used to say it all the time. Take the limits off God. Yes. Wow. Unleash and unlock God. What yes. she said. Yeah. Unleash and unlock God. Unleash him. Unleash the Spirit of God. So stop saying Him because Jesus said God is a Spirit. Spirit doesn't have any identity. We just label it Him. Because of our limitations. Oh, that's a whole other message. Mm. Spirit without men. It doesn't have a message. God, the Spirit of God is not like us. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 it exceeds us. Yeah. That's right. We as writers have just put these constraints yeah, on God in yeah, order yeah. to be able to try to handle God. Yeah. We can't That's handle good. God. That's good. That's right. It's bigger than anything we could have imagined. That's right. That's why I'm taking some of the limits off. Take, taking those limits off. It takes a chapter, takes some time. But wisdom says, take some of these limits off. That we've limited ourselves. We've grown up with these limitations. Yes. We're serving all of these strange gods. <laughs> serving all of these strange gods. He said, what do you mean strange God? That's because every one of us is serving. There's only one true and living God. That's right. And every one of us is serving the God based on our culture and based on our upbringing. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sometimes that God gets real strange. We don't even know how to take God because we've been trained. Our theology comes from all the people that brought us up new. And I'm here to tell you, God is more than that. He's more than that. We got to unleash and unlock God. Yes, You got to be determined. Wisdom says, I got to make up in my mind, yeah. am I going to serve the God of my limitation yeah. or the God of my imagination? Yes. Mm. Mm. Ephesians 3, he's able to do exceeding, abundantly, above all you can ever. That's the word of God, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to stick with the scriptures that take the limits off of God. Going beyond this. He, he can do exceeding, abundantly, above all you can ever ask or think. So... Mm. With last wisdom key, that would say to me, you might want to start thinking bigger. Ah, yes. Yes. Because if he's able to do exceeding above all you could ever ask to think, it ain't going to hurt you to think the biggest you have ever thought in your life. Amen. Because it's where I already say, oh, that ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, your biggest, your wildest imagination, you might as well go for it. Yeah, yeah. You might as well go for your wildest imagination. Why? Because as, as the man said today, swing for the fences. Go, what you got to lose? Right? God is saying, whatever you think of that you think is big, it's going to be limited to what I really want to do for you. Right. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Go for it. What do you have to lose? Nothing. <laughs> 